Five blockbuster sci-fi films reigned the movie theaters in the late 1970s. Long lines became commonplace as we crowded to see these classic sci-fi movies of the 1970s. Number five, Logan's Run, directed by Michael Anderson, and starred Michael York, Jenny Agutter, Richard Jordan, Peter Ustinov. Farrah Fawcett, Michael Anderson Jr., and Roscoe Lee Brown. In the year 2274, the inhabitants of the Dome City want for nothing. Make a wish, and all your needs and fantasies are fulfilled. Life is a party. <laughs> That is, until you turn 30 years old. Last day, Capricorn 15's year of the city. And for those who disagree with the rules and attempt to run away, a Sandman will permanently stop you. <laughs> On your birthday, you must go to Carousel to be reincarnated or renewed. <laughs> Logan 5 is assigned to go undercover in search of runners to a place they call Sanctuary. But with the help of Jessica Six, Logan discovers the truth about the domed city, carousel, and a secret that will forever change their sheltered existence. What is it? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's war. Number four, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Steven Spielberg directed the film, which starred Richard Dreyfuss, Melinda Dillon, Terry Garr, Francois Truffaut, Bob Balaban, and Carl Guffey. Worldwide, more and more people are seeing strange objects in the sky. Ask them if they want to report officially. UWA-517, do you want to report a UFO? Negative. We don't want to report. Roy is part of a group drawn to a particular spot to witness extraterrestrial craft crossing the local highway. In addition, Roy is obsessed with recreating a mountain in as much detail as possible, even if that means alienating himself from his family and friends. Oh, Roy! Oh, God! Come on, in. This obsession drives him towards a meeting to answer the question, are we really alone? Number three, Superman, the movie. Directed by Richard Donner and starring Christopher Reeve, Margot Kidder, Gene Hackman, Valerie Perrine, Marlon Brando, Susanna York, Glenn Ford, Phyllis Thatcher, Ned Beatty, Jackie Cooper, Jeff East, Mark McClure, Noel Neal, and Kirk Allen. A small spaceship hurtles through space as a distant planet called Krypton ceases to exist.
The vessel holding the planet's sole survivor seeks the safety of Earth with an unusual infant. Oh my. Due to Earth's yellow sun, the child develops special abilities. At age 18, Clark Kent discovers his true heritage and name. Who am I? Your name is Kalel. You are the only survivor of the planet Krypton. And prepares for his destiny. Clark moves to the city of Metropolis, where he can better help those in need. But the oath of non-interference in altering human history he swore to uphold is tested when he falls for daily news reporter Lois Lane. But in spite of all his superpowers, Kalel is confronted by someone who might possibly destroy him. You were great in your day, Superman. Number two, Alien. Ridley Scott directed it, and it starred Sergey Weaver, Tom Skerritt, Veronica Cartwright, John Hurt, I Am Home, Yafet Koto, Harry Dean Stanton, Royce Gamel, and Balaji Badio as the alien. As the commercial ship. Nostromo returns to Earth. Its sleeping crew awakens to investigate a distress signal. What kind of a transmission? Acoustical beacon that uh, repeats at intervals of 12 seconds. SOS? I don't know. Human? Unknown. On planet LV-426, the crew discovers a multitude of leathery type eggs. The creature from one of the eggs latches itself onto a crew member and upon returning to the ship, something foreign is brought with them. And once the creature is loose, it grows to its full size and terrorizes the crew. Number one, Star Wars, A New Hope. George Lucas directed the film, which starred Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, Alec Guinness, James Earl Jones as the voice of Darth Vader, and David Prowse as the man in the suit, Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca, Anthony Daniels as C-3PO, Kenny Baker as R2-D2, Peter Cushing, Phil Brown, and Sheila Fraser. Princess Leia, who is secretly part of the Galactic Rebellion, is held hostage by Darth Vader, head of the evil Galactic Empire. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take it away! Vader believes that the princess has stolen plans for his deadly space station, the Death Star, which he will use to conquer as many planetary systems as possible. Leia secretly hides the information in one of her droids and sends it to the nearby planet Tetu. Luke Skywalker, a farmer, Obi-Wan Kenobi, a former Jedi Knight, and Han Solo, a smuggler, team up to save the princess, find a weakness in the Death Star, and hopefully bring freedom and justice to the galaxy. But to do this, 
they must come face to face with the ruthless Darth Vader and the dark side of the Force. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. Devotion to that ancient religion has not helped you conjure up the stolen data tapes and the rebels' hidden fort. I find your lack of faith disturbing. What's your favorite sci-fi movie from the 1970s? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe, and thanks for the watch. See you next time.